give me one sec, I've just been setting up. Uh, also, if you hear like a horrible humming noise, that's a wood chipper right outside. So this is, oh, one second. Hey, Alex. Can you uh, take a listen real quick, just see like how the audio is? You, you what? Oh, how's, how's my voice? You can hear me? I sound okay? Okay. Have some noise suppression on to try and take care of the horrible humming. Let me turn it off and, and then ask you. How about now? Oh, okay. I just turned the filter back on. should I be? So this is like a, a weird RPG is what I understood from looking up this game. Do I want to create my own or? Motorix is, I guess, dexterity. Physique, which is very strangely abbreviated FYS. Thank you. Torques. I kind of want to have good um, intellect and psyche. Plus Encyclopedia, what does that mean? Plus Inland Empire. Let's just be a uh, thinker. for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> yes, finally, a game that I don't have to do the voices myself. Um, hmm. Yes, nice butt. Thank you, butt spot. Amazing, as always. Ever. I don't have to do anything anymore. Not ever. Never. Ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Sure. <laughs> I will keep on non-existing. 
and an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. No ex-wives. Sure. This is great. Yes, it is. So what's that about the uh, ex-wives? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. A, a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. The meat thing. No, tell me about the X wives. X love. Extenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of pelagic zone. Um. Is this just what I'm having to go through to like, yes, I really want to play this game? <laughs> I'm just like, no, I just want to stay in this uh, void or whatever. Does the game just not ever start? Do you really? Oh, who's calling? know who that was. Yeah, let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Does this start with me having, like, just not tried to commit suicide or something? Is that what this void is? Yeah, what's waiting for me? There's this giant ball there. An evil apes. An evil apes are juking it out on the ball. <laughs> You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes. Juking it out on a giant ball. Our limbic system seems oddly detached. <laughs> How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. <laughs> Fine for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. Yeah, that sounds pretty exciting. Let's do Somewhere that. in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Sure. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Is disco music actually going to be relevant to the game? Is that why it's Disco Elysium? There's the head attached to my neck and I'm in it. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Who am I? What am I? A fiery streak penetrates your skull. 
trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A Kupri's can name a motor carriage. Encyclopedia. Oh, there was like a skill check to know what that was? What happens if you fail that? Thank goodness we have some underpants on. Oh, they don't cover all that much. Okay, so Wasset moves. I'm very slowly. I guess clicking also moves. I just click on stuff. Magnum sized bottle. Oh yeah, I guess there'll be ex-wives somewhere, maybe. What's this? Okay, that started like a 15 second countdown. Um, it didn't seem to change anything though, so I don't know what that did. Okay, so these are skills I got. We started with just a point in the encyclopedia. Shivers. Okay, this is neat. What's this gross, like, crinkling noise I hear? Get in the tub. Oh, I can't get in the tub. What is that? Oh, it's a shirt. I'm now sure to. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. A fierce discharge of masculine energy. Was this not the same Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virar, uncaring towards the little things? I'm not sure I'm understanding these die rolls or skill checks. Like, hmm. Seems like a weird time to have a skill Probably check. not, no. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just a vague impression of a man. I'm a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Let's wipe it away and see what we look like. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Uh, just Behold. Ugh. I think I maybe liked it better not knowing what I look like. Especially like this down here portrait. This portrait up here doesn't look that bad. But the down in the corner portrait? Ugh. We look dead. We look... Like undead. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? What is this? Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Oh, am I dead? Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm not making it. The face is making it. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, we keep making it. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. 
You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Is that the grin that you give ladies? I don't know. Vaguely sympathetic. It's for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. <laughs> I promise, lie. You liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead. Try something. I guess it's P for that. Okay, so we have 50-50 chance of locating the source. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. That's why I'm making this face. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. What does this have anything to do with my grin? If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, what de nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. The expression. It's blue steel. Um... I feel like I need to have a clicking sound, sure. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. So why am I making this? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. So who am I? You have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Caprice Kanema. So the only thing I remember is a little bit of the history of disco. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Um... So we can try this, I guess. It's too late. Nope. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. So, okay. I guess, um, this is what we look like. I feel like the 3D model here doesn't quite line up with that portrait, but let's get some clothes. Oh. Our tie is up there. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Do you really need a key to open the room from the inside? That seems a little weird. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Horrific or not, it's mine. Let's turn off the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. 
It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Sort of weird, uh... Artwork is this icon. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Sure. The lights are off. I guess we can look at this window. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Let's do some calculus. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Sure, did I break it? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. How big of a thing? It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which I didn't even notice. incidentally is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Sure. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Do I have a quest now? Is that what that was? Quest, find your other shoe. Go get this shoe. Sure. And let's look at our inventory. Bullets. Okay, so... Um, I was reading said that the game didn't have combat, but... But I'm interested in seeing that we have a bullets thing in our inventory, so... Maybe that was a lie, I don't know. Alright, let's get out of this. Oh, I can move way faster now. Hello, officer. Officer? Am I a cop? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Are you my ex-wife? A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Oh, I do look hideous right now. Yeah, let's just leave. I did say I'm not very social. What's this? Yeah, I know there's something on the table. Uh, real. Am I in Brazil? Is that Brazil money? Do other places use real? Guess I'm a police officer. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. There's my shoe. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. What's this? Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. Good, they're balanced, comfy, 
Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Sure, what is this? Thought cabinet. Okay, so these are all of my thoughts. Temporary research bonus. Internalize. I. What? Inexplicable feminist. Oh, inexplicable feminist agenda. I guess I'll learn about that at some point. So as I can research these, is that what internalize does? Does this cost experience or give me experience? Uh, who knows? I am I have minus one logic for right now because I'm thinking about disco music. I guess. You can sleep after 2100. Sleeping heals all your health and morale. So if my health can go down, then I actually think that there is combat. Okay, so shift we can use to just walk like a normal human. kind of weird art style. Can I play any of these? Okay, this is where the lyrics would be, this is where the microphone is. That's a huge microphone, that's a weird looking microphone. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. Through a PA system. I agree. By other people. What should I sing? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Sure. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. But, sure. So I found my shoe, now I have to sing karaoke. Um, electric juicer. I might just take this. What's nose pad? Well, I mean, it's a healing thing, but... A man in his late twenties, stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. Oh god, that is what that As is. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Wait, I failed that check. So is everything not cool between us? Am I wrong in my assessment there? Let's look at the bird. A competent work of taxidermy. 
The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Oh, I hope we didn't do that when we were drunk last night or whatever. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. The small steel tag says as much. The great skua. Stay Coarius skua. Um, hey, that's a great score, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. What if I want a drink? Are you no, bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were the bartender. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. You look like a bartender, my dude. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. So right now, you are the bartender. That's what it sounds like. Where'd Sylvie go? She just, you know. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. Just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. I'm a cop, you idiot. What kind of question is that? That makes sense. Ever since I got up, I've felt something in me. Now I know. It's the law. Sure. Are you serious right now? Yes, I am the law. I really don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm enjoying being a big weirdo. What is this? Union. What's this? He, he knocked the rum over. Can we put it right side up? So more doesn't spill out? That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour? Sweet Lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time. You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Is rum and lemonade like a combination people drink? That sounds weird. I do need a rum and lemonade. Who's Gart? Um, let's go to number two, though. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. Okay, but only a little. You lick it, but only a little. Only with the tip of your tongue, because you're a pleasure delayer. After two or three licks, the crust begins to melt, and a sweetness breaks loose. The sharp, titillating scent of alcohol rises to your nostrils. It's dizzying. Am I seriously licking up rum off the counter? You could definitely go for some more. Lol. Find booze, drink it. Sure thing. Uh, who are you? 
Who are these folks? Hello, sweetie. Cryptozoologist? Are there going to be cryptids in this? You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Oh, is that this dude? Uh, sure, I guess we'll talk to him. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. That looks almost like he has like a pokeball or something on his jacket. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Sure, let's shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. We can invent a name for herself? Yes. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Success. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It's not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm an enigma. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean the bartender? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Yeah, just talk to the bartender. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It Maybe. also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, yes. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> dead body? I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? None of these options says lie, so... Is it just the truth, no matter what I pick? Look, man, you know... Yeah, I took it down. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, completely. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? Dead body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't bullshit him. So, the body is still in the tree. Yes. <laughs> where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Okay. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. You mean internal affairs? Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. So my insignia is you mean these white rectangles that I clearly have no idea what they are. Yes. But they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachon West. Could have fooled me. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. 
I shouldn't have a badge. You mean you don't have a badge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have my badge. I'm a policeman. I definitely have my badge. Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. Mm -hmm. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at oh, hand. <laughs> Am I really like <laughs> screwing myself by lying to him? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Ah, oh, so we have a whole bunch of stuff to do. Okay. So we'll talk to the cafeteria manager, we'll go inspect the victim's body, then I'll report my badge missing. What's this? The Monday menu. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. Oh, he does have he a drops beard. drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. It's very unimpressive. I feel for him. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. No, he's the bartender. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Oh. What's well, gold and orange like a forest fire? But smells like liquor. Are you kidding me? Nah, man, help me out. It's gold and orange and smells like liquor. It's you. It's obviously you. <laughs> you smell like liquor. And you're orange. I'm orange? There's nothing orange about me. I'm wearing a green jacket. He's the Kim Kim dude's the guy who's wearing orange. My face is like pasty white. I'm not orange. See? Everyone agrees it's your color scheme. We're on the right track with this name thing. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir. I understand your concern, <laughs> but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. Imagine you have a dead body in a tree, like in your the backyard of your business, for a whole week and not do anything about it. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Yes. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. Why was that a reaction speed skill check or test or whatever? You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? But our records don't show from where. What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. You said you managed three of them. That's not many, many. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll ask questions. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which mm -hmm. you can later use in the more sinister ones. Okay. Not vice versa. So where is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? 
First you exit through that, then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys, the hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocent Franco-Negro, sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Why'd Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked me that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. Oh, no, before I asked you where she went, now I'm asking why she went. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. Gross, dude. I hope you appreciate that. Thank you. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. I like to be thorough. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Playing with a stuffed bird? Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they if he doesn't know? I mean, it'd be a lot easier to hoist someone up a tree if you had multiple people. Sure, let's ask. Oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Who said that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. I don't know that. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would dock workers lynch him? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. Oh. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionistas probably thought they'd send a message. Did you kill him? What are you, <laughs> crazy? Of course I didn't kill him! The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. That's all. It's gone. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Real. Okay, not reals. Real. <sighs> well, we have 50-50 chance of somehow slipping away. Sure. <laughs> oh my fucking... Okay. Really? As you blow this joint, I don't think that was unnoticed. You, a whiny voice shouts. Real mature, man. Real mature. Real mature. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme. Used on everything, from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. Hmm. Sure. Clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Where do I get such a crown? It comes free with a six pack of Vermilion Roy d'Or. The words Roy d'Or are stamped into the crown's plastic. The idea of a king in a century gone is pretty fascinating. The sentiment is called anti-centennial nostalgia, pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now, after 50 years. Interesting. 
Uh, so we can leave out here or go through here. What's in here? Oh, kitchen, okay. Until 1300, it is just past nine. Reading passes time quickly. Oh, is it snowing? So I guess that's the hole he meant. What did this? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Why am I looking at this? Uh, visual calculus. A trail. No! These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Oh, how did I fail that? I had a 72% chance. What drove through? Hard to say. Your vision is blurred, and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks Damn to it. your relentless hangover. Why am I looking Cop at this? Cop habit. You look at everything. Okay. This isn't case-related, you think. Hmm. Okay, I have two things to do from his car radio. What's this? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Okay, I don't, I don't need to do that now. What are you doing out here, kid? Don't you know there's a dead body in that tree? Kuno's got this. Ugh, he's gross. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. <laughs> What? Hey, kid, a word. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! It's love it in the dick! Sure. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what, what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! She's drugged out throwing rocks at a dead body's dick. Kuno's riding it, see? The rake, Kuno! I hate he this should kid. Throw the rake at him, Kuno. I want to arrest this kid. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Kid, yeah, do you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. <laughs> fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. Fast. This kid yeah, so has hello, got hello, child. <laughs> Look, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. What do you know about this body? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. 
This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Mm. Who was he? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. So you don't know anything? Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the Popo phone. The Popo phone? You seen anyone suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. You're both under under arrest. <laughs> Do you know how it got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. I didn't see anything. You heard Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. So where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. You were in Night City? There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, f um, who's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation? Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that fuck shit at Kuno. Kuno knows you're lying. Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. Hooked on the book. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Alrighty. Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! <laughs> Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. No, I don't. We're both cops. We're clearly not doing anything. Kim will vouch for me. Doesn't answer the questions, kid. Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Pigs in there in Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Uh, so let's not try punching him because... Uh, well, we're not good at that. Really bad at that. Are you high right now? Misters, help! He's flashing Kuno. He's showing his genitals. If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late. We're up to this. No one. Kuno's doing this because he likes it, pig. Help! The pig's gagging him! Kuno can't speak! Someone put you up to this. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Oh. Listen to your f friend. <laughs> Did Gert put you up to this? Kuno owns the fat ass. Help! The RCM is trying to fuck Kuno! Come on, kid. I haven't done anything to you. Fucking logical. <laughs> Help! 
love the logical biggest fiddling kuno. Okay, let's just back up. Lock For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. Dope. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. I was thinking that though. He's right. There's a dead body. Remember, that's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. Can you read my mind, Kuno? I can. Kuno can smell that violent shit. I know what you were thinking. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut his shit down. You know what? You should have hit the Kuno, because now you're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno! He spreads his arms, taking dominion. He t posed on me. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch! You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno! No, you're not. We can just leave. <laughs> bitch, you're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever! A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. I did not know that. Nice peepo. You don't talk to me about my fucking peepo! You don't know where I come from! You're just Kuno's bottom bitch! Uh, did I even have any more questions last time? Not really. Letter R, where's the crown? Okay, rough jaw. Can we not talk to this kid? Can I just get the body down? The corpse rocks looks at, at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. What is that? Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! Try not to. The smell is repulsive. Damn. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let it out. Mm. On the kid, though, I'd like to. Aww. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. Freaking corpse. Keep it. Oh, thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Where do we get ammonia? There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If okay. she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Clever girl. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers what? make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay. So I'm starting to grow herbs in this greenhouse.
auto save. We've been digging around this backyard for almost like a whole hour. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten night. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Because it's nice and orderly. Well laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against hey, an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vatna Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Hence the name Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. So it's like asbestos. I don't know, this is very strange, this game. I'm having fun, though. But it is quite bizarre. Okay. Go get some ammonia. Yeah, I'm so glad it has voice acted text. I would hate to be reading all of it right now. Let's see, how the heck do I... Gardener. Where do I find the gardener? Yeah, it's a really neat art style, but it sure is weird. Like, some of the dialogue and options are very bizarre. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. A faint sticker on the side reads, RCM Emergencies Desk Number 8102, with a slogan, Mankind, be vigilant. Good mail delivery box. At the box. Oh, good, good mailbox. The box seems happy. <laughs> See, weird. Eat shit, pig. Fucked by the coon. And sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and... Best set mailbox, also. Yeah, it isn't uh, a very fast paced game, though. Um. I feel you, mail collection box. What is this dialogue? <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully, even so do you. You shudder, then you swallow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, man. I need to find the store so I can buy some ammonia. Oh, is this the garden? Hello. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Of course. What can I help you with? It's some ammonia. Sure, I'm done with it. Just handed me ammonia? Okay, free ammonia. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Got around. Of course. I won't hold you back. Yeah, definitely, uh, Kuma took me very off guard. Um, if there's a course, <laughs> then I was you're expecting going to this to be a, a lot tamer than some of the dialogue's a little bit racy. Um, gloves. Sure. 
Sure. I don't know if those are the kind of gloves I, I would use. Pair. Wow, she's very um, compliant. Can I put on the gloves? I don't actually have the gloves in my inventory. Oh, no, I do. Oh, there we go. Majestic. I'm sure I'll read this thing. Okay, they don't like us at all here. So how do I use this ammonia? Do I just have to have it in my inventory? There he still is, looking right through you with his... Ampule of ammonia. How do I use it? Okay, I got a plus one because I have the eyes. ammonia. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. So I just have to the have the ammonia in my inventory. It does now. Eight percent chance, though. I'm definitely going to throw up. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces no. tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time. Not so much. Damn it. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. The ammonia didn't help at all. Yeah, the ammonia didn't help at all. Thanks, Ken. Nor does the wind right now. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Why can't I do this? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Every Monday. Throw up, baguette. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. Why are you fine? I think I've lost my sense of smell. A white lie. Interesting. Not being hungover helps too. Yeah, you have to do with that. No. This is a two man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. I need what? your help. Why do you need my help? You need to get your shit together. No. <laughs> Fine. We Ooh. should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought the whole cabinet part. and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Sure. We've got a whole part. Volumetic, volumetric shit compressor. Um, excuse me, what? So what does this give me if I internalize it? Temporary research bonus, none. I'm still trying to internalize this, um... I don't know. Disco musician? I have two thoughts right now. Oh, I didn't see this crate before. And what was that? Magnesium. Uh, what can I do with magnesium? I don't know. 
Oh, I guess I don't need to be wearing these gloves, do I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty early on, so... No. Don't really know what I'm doing. A half-naked dame. It's a cool cover. Sure. Who are you? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. I am the law. I know, sir. <laughs> are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of store is this? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. That's the store name? Oh, it is the store name. Jeez. That's a mouthful. Books, postcards, easy. Even a kid would know all of this. Little girl, I know what a book is. Books are like very long letters with stories inside them. Yes. That's exactly it. I also know what a postcard is. It's a small cardboard picture that you can send to a friend or a loved one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you got it, sir. What about board games? <laughs> Who cares about board games? No <laughs> one. Yeah, the police don't have time for games. Okay, sir. This was all very enlightening. Can I help you with anything else? Maybe. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. What's your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the Plaisance. store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Is it your job to just stand out here? I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. <laughs> what sort of an option? Such a good trooper you are. You Thank head you, back. sir. I'm happy to help Mum out with the store. What is romance? Tell me, little girl, what is romance? It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Oh. Hmm. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. What about when both men are bad? These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. Is Twilight pretty much that? Yeah, what if it's written really well? Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either, because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. What about when everyone is poor? That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Yeah, poor people are boring. I guess, yes. People in books are always very interesting. Especially the romance people. That's enough romance for me. Maybe some of our other books? Who are famous people? Oh, kings and queens and generals of old. Or artists and writers. Or musicians. Those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. Sure. But it does make the famous people more famous. That's true. Fame sounds delicious. Maybe someday. Or maybe someone will write a book about me one day. Why would they do that, sir? <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I'm a superhero. That's so cool. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. 
standing over a dead body, holding a gun. Mike's standing over a dead body, throwing up. Shouldn't you be at school? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. What is school, anyway? School? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street, and the people <laughs> there run it. They say it's a charity. Charity? Oh, the connection drop? That's weird. Isn't going to school more important? Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Well, Mom yeah, says later. a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, um, I guess thanks, thanks for stopping by. Have fun running uh, errands or doing chores or whatever. As fun as that can be, I guess. There is stress beautiful. and unease behind these words. She's reciting etiquette. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed? What are you cooking? I enjoy cooking. Cursed in what way? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Uh, bankrupt. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I should investigate. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. We're paranormal police detectives now, Kim. Yes. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. How does this curse manifest? It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were asking about romance novels. Well, Kim, you're no fun. But Kim, the plasmic manifestations. No such thing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Enough about the curse for Maybe now. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. What about crime? Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. No, I didn't want to tell him about crime fiction. I need to know what crime itself is. Uh... Crime is a deviation from the law, punishable by either a civil or criminal sentencing. It's what the law prevents. I love that Kim is just totally going along with this whole thing. Crime murder gets the people go- no, why would I want to read it's that It's exciting crime? to people, I guess. They get to imagine dangerous things. And it's kind of like a puzzle, where you can guess who the criminal is. Or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm a policeman myself, by the way. The law, as I said. You don't look much like a policeman. What does a cop look like, then? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Vespertine. A strapping Vespertine officer. What does that mean? Hmm. And yeah, nobody actually looks like that guy. That's just a stupid fantasy. She looks at Dick Mullen, frowning. He isn't even drawn right. <laughs> he isn't even drawn right. That's not how human shoulders work. In the perspective, it's all wrong. She examines the picture, trying to find whatever is wrong with it. She then shrugs and puts the book aside, unconvinced. I can do way better than Dick Mullen. Sure you can, sir. He's just a fictional character. He'll be no match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. 
Okay, I'm going to deduce something. Please work. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Why do you fold your hands? What do you mean, sir? Show them to me. She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. Mm. She doesn't want to show them. But what? The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands. Her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. Disgusting. You bite your nails? And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Give her a few other hints. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. Hmm. Oh, should we risk trying to determine why she bites them? Sure. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's an intense dedication to the way of business. There are no riches without personal sacrifice. The opposite of the Frangi way of business. Yeah, it's because of your mother and the pressure, right? That's the only thing here that actually makes sense. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. Either way, another ace deduction by the number one detective in town. Take that, Dick Mullen. It was okay, sir. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. Okay. Fine. How about you to do something about me? You're quite sober. Oh. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. I'm having a grand time. I sure hope you are, sir. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar, somehow. Somehow. There's something you're missing. Is there? Hmm. We have a pretty low chance of this, but it says that we can retry it, so... You have absolutely no idea. Damn. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard again. Damn it. We'll see you in that. Let's go investigate this curse. Need to do something behind Lieutenant Kitsuragi's back. Sneak out after he's gone to sleep. <laughs> They're all about lake trout. That's all they eat in Arda. Arda, um... Where does the world that Lord of, like in Lord of the Rings, isn't it? These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen over and over. A couple of spook novels hide amidst spook all the detective novels. books. Thrilling tales of spycraft and daring do. What's all this crime fiction, Storekeep? Oh, crime robberies, murders. Even sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen and his stories to sort all that out. Interesting. You're a, a police officer, apparently. You should buy all of these. They really do teach a person how to be a proper detective. N absolutely not. Also, your daughter likes reading Dick Mullen books. Does she read about the ones that are sexual crimes? Because I don't, maybe you should police what your daughter reads more. Doesn't sound like they're kids' books. Dick Mullen SVU. That's what's on the shelf. The plaque on the shelf reads, 
biographies of famous people, you see a large variety of names, none of which ring a bell. I would say the greatest innocence. Yes, most certainly. It's an important educational tool delving into the depths of history, religion, and their relation to innocentic power. Innocentic power. Is that a word? Uh, who or what is an innocence? A very influential historical figure. But surely I don't have to tell you that. You're a law officer, and law officers have at least some education. Not me, actually. I have no education. Uh, they let me be a law officer because they felt really bad for me. The book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocentic system, creating a fresh vantage point and a shift in the tired order of things. I thought it was about which of these innocences is the coolest and greatest. Perhaps for a layman, deep analysis is necessary to peel back the multi-layered meanings. Do her words seem vague and abstract to you? Yes. Certainly, it's prudent for a person to have at least an elementary understanding of history and society. Imagine the chaos we'd be in otherwise. You feel like you should get this one. Definitely. Really? It's important somehow. There's something personal inside. Do I not have enough money? Is that what that means? Sad. Let's remember that it's there. The most interesting thing about fascists was their magic? Sure. How do I say how much money I have? Um. I don't know. This one interfacing. I guess I should just keep these on, right? In case I need to interface. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. Tell me more. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. And one second. There we go. Can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. How do you know? Oh. Oh, you're right. I have only 0. 0.6, um... Clubs? I don't know. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. Yeah. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. I don't even have 90 cents. Are cents what they call them? Do they still call them cents in, in Brazil? Um, now, why is the Martinez one so cheap? That old thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. Oh. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. Coin-operated viewers? The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? And what happened? They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice oh. if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. We probably shouldn't try stealing this while Kim's with us. Uh, let's just look at it. It's not really a map. It's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it, drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. Sure. Still, it's detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor, even the whirling in rags there. Uh, let's look at the other maps. This large map displays archipelagos. You see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the Insulindic Ocean. The largest in the northeast is Lacayu. 
You are here. Another, far away in the southwest, Seminese Islands, Ile de Fantôme. Hmm. Ozon, Laurentide, Fas Alamir, Archipelagos, North Arcade Islands. All just specks of dust on the vastness of the Insulindic. On the edges of the map, the color fades into a blur of dotted lines, black and white, disintegrating into mathematics. Disintegrating into mathematics. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou in a bookstore. It's you. What? Can you see cities? You can. On Caillou, Rivershaw, a single black star. On Ozon, Fondelier, and Vimandu. On Archipelagos, Croyan Moran, Villiers. On Seminine, Aldivai, and on Laurentide, Deora of the Seven Seas. 850 million people live on these little dots. An oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. Sure. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Windy is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Samara is the east azimuth. Seo is the west azimuth. Is any this going to be relevant? Called. Connections to other worlds, words past the Insulindian, unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. You have little idea what they are. Distant stars. Gods. But looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent. Whatever they are, the Isolas oh, are immeasurably us. large compared to you. And very, very far away. Perhaps they are gods. Gods of distance and outer dust. Okay, let's look at the map of Revachal. The north coast of a verdant island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the River Esperance. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. Sorry, one side. Okay. What about West? Hudon. It's somewhere to live. Not bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. The worst? It's so small you can't even see it on the map. No, wait. There it is. North of Jamrock. The strip of coast next to the Greater Rivershall Industrial Harbour. Just by size. It looks downright despondent. It's almost Coal City, to be honest. Sure. This bookstore is not Paranormal strictly place. about crime, what? romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. We just encountered an error? Weird. Bookstore. What, what books Hans, are you? Sir, please, no browsing in that shelf. That wisdom is not for free. Oh. I can't have you end up like opening a police store next door and stealing my customers. Oh no. What? A police store? Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. These three things are very important to the working class mind. Working the class point mind. of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access oh, okay. to paid health services. It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage, and would only give you cancer anyway without even curing your cold or anything. Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, 
then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Interesting. Various paranatural books still litter the shelf. It's very interesting. What is it exactly that failed? What was that error about? The still seems to be working. Uh, what's this? A small mountain of colorful oh, board games. game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. Yeah, what board games? Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Or perhaps you'd like Archipelagos of Insulinda, a very educational game for those interested in geography. Browbritter is a fun Brow game of economic competition, but can get quite intense after a while. We have games for the whole family. You can play with your children. Look at me. Who'd want to have children with me? I don't feel as if I have any kids. Wait. We have an ex-wife though, right? Maybe we do have kids. But maybe we don't. Friends are technically like family. For playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. Wow. It'll cost 12 real. Uh, what about all these, um, we roll games? Lousy auras there. No, role playing games are popular among those types. Oh. You know, who are into those kind of things. Personally, I don't like it. Not at all. Role playing games are popular among those types. What are they like tabletop? Like D and D? I've heard they turn people into occult enthusiasts. It's but definitely they have D, &D. Rituals where they try to summon entities. Highly immoral stuff. You can still buy them, though. An endless variety of source books, law books, yes. and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a pick-your-path adventure game book titled Your Tales path. of Wirral, Cavern of Velcrag. Velcro. Books in a board game section? Who wants to read books? Binoclard. And it catches it. There's a box that says, We're out. Third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes, A fantastic adventure board game. New maps and miniatures. Oh, a that's sticker on it displays 25 real. That price is steep. But then it's the third edition mega setting supplement, so it makes sense. Makes perfect sense. I'll buy that when I can afford it. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hyomdal. Hyomdal. Tell me about these muscle man books. Oh, Man from Hyomdal. A very popular series of adventure novels. They're awfully immoral and violent books. Ah. Blood and violence, scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters. They're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. What one should I start with? What does it matter? They're all the same. However, the customer is always right, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Hjelm Dalaman. The man from Hjelmdal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Let's look through. Rows and rows of Hjelmdala men blur your vision. You make out some titles. Man from Hjelmdal and the Mammoth Riders. Man from Hjelmdal. Return to Hjelmdal. And His name. Solipsistic. Man from Hjelmdal and the Hjelmdal man. Hjelmdal. Good God, how many are there? Maybe a hundred. Man from Hyomdal and the sages at the end of the world. Man from Hyomdal and the false god. Man from Hyomdal and the scorched earth. Man from Hyomdal mm. 
the Hyomdal colonies. Man from Hyomdal. I want to read about the, the snow crabs. Beast. Man from Hyomdal and the snow crabs. Enough. The display rack before you is burdened under piles of Man from Hyomdal novels. Pain threshold. None of these books call out to me. A twinge at the back of your head makes you flinch. Your eye starts twitching. Ow! Your hand reaches toward a book with glossy cover art of the very muscular man from Hyomdal in chains, kneeling in front of a staircase leading to a throne. A woman sits on the throne, leering at the man. Between the throne and the Hyomdala man lies a bonfire, casting shadows on the wall. The shadow of the woman's headdress looks like a pair of devil horns. The title reads, Man from Hyomdal and the Devil Woman. Interesting. The display rack before you is burdened under piles of Man from Hyomdal novels. Sure. <laughs> molten candy. Why is it molten? I guess we should talk to this lady. Welcome to Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome, and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. You look real weird, madam. So you're the owner. I am the proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Your daughter said this place is cursed. Cursed? Who said that? Annette? I will have a word with her. This place is not cursed. It has a robustly magnetic energy. Good for commercial activity. My business is thriving, sir. What in God's name is she talking about? Your daughter's the one out there, right? Annette, yes. My daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper of girl? Of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Yes. Great. On a scale of one to ten, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Ten. My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Annette is quite the trooper. She's a great value add. I'm here to dismantle the free market and abolish child labor. Um, let's see. She has been firing nails. Yeah, make it go easier on her. God! Ugh! I've told her not to do that. It's such a disgusting habit. She'll get over it. Anxiety is a part of life. She can, if she has enough willpower. Great. This is what's called growing pains. Life isn't easy. Life doesn't give breaks. But your mom, you can give her a break. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. Um. Yeah, we're doing... Hmm. Yeah, what are you doing is wrong. She stands stiff and severe, silently fuming. Ten or so seconds pass without change. She's looking for one, but there simply aren't any good arguments for being an asshole. That's true. Oh, no. Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. Hmm. Is your husband a Nets father? Yes. My husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter. Soon we'll both be off for Grand Couron. What's that? It's a proper place to live. One of the most peaceful neighborhoods east of Jamrock. You may know it for its massive housing projects. I don't. Most of the buildings are empty at the moment. It's a great opportunity to get ahead of the crowds. 
better times ahead for sure. He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Super silent. Almost inaudibly so. Interesting. Yeah, do you have any other children? Yes, I'm afraid so. A real treat she is. It would be nice if she had... No, we couldn't have afforded more children, really. Not in this economy. A glimmer of sadness blinks through the well-crafted exterior. Of course. Exactly. She doesn't go to school anymore? She's been too busy, helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. This is a temporary solution, of course. The schools here work on trimesters? Interesting. I assure you, I of all people understand the importance of education. She will be back in school the moment the store takes off. Well, that'll be forever, ma'am. And hell freezes over? Never mind. It's not a good topic to get into. The woman looks aloof. Her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. Well, farewell, book peddler. I'll buy a book when I actually have some money. Maybe. No, I just want that uh, source book mega setting supplement. So let's see, we can't go into the kitchen until uh, 1 p.m. So I guess we're still just wandering around. Or is these the coin operated viewers? no shame whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape Bonnie, you are a man with a fork in a world of soup <laughs> please let's just try to enjoy the game all right oh i i get it i'm trying to but you keep breaking my concentration you're old i can see that you're both old you're both old okay now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl what? These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ball. ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. There's ball time, That's baby. the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. Yeah, grab a ball and show them how it's done. I'm a master of balls. You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. Uh -oh. You'll make it work. Feel the ball. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a platinum. Why am I putting it against my neck? Probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of learning and scars of victory. What? Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight, the nervous system calibrating, until you and the ball have merged into a single entity. The man ball is ready. The man ball is ready. A chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sounds, smells, even the wind, everything fades until the only thing left is the union of man and ball. Ball. An embodiment of pure motion, a fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. Be the bullet. The bullet. Is that what I'm supposed merde. to do? Bordel de merde. <laughs> Why did you throw our ball into the river? A whorehouse of shit. It wasn't whorehouse of shit. The shot was at least 23 meters. Probably 24 and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. What the hell is your problem? Not a weak tricep, that's for sure. I don't care if you are a cop. You do not just ruin someone's game. It's so goddamn disrespectful. Wait, what? You vandalized our game, son. 
We can't play petank with five bull. Petank. P tank. Yes, petank. You ruined our petank game. We want our bull back. It looks like you have more than five. Take it easy, Rene. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a goddamn bull. Why are they calling me orange? I don't understand. There's nothing about me that is orange. I will try and fix this. Good. Mistakes are forgiven. When men at least try to right their wrongs, I believe you will try. Now, why did you approach us? Yes, why did you come here? It's unlikely they know anything about the murder. And do you know anything about the murder? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. What's this guy wearing? I just realized. It's very interesting. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. Oh, what about police women? I'm confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative mm, duties. Of course. Oh, jeez. This is set in the 50s, right? So let's, uh, let's go with this. No man can afford to turn his eyes to the horizon if his rear isn't secured. If the women folk take care of that, then men can tackle the bigger issues. Uh, honey, can you just come here and secure my rear? Yeah, we've got all the figured RCM out. The doesn't discriminate. Women are held to the same standards as men, and as reflected in the quarterly statistics, oh, are up, equally Kim. effective in their jobs. Unlike men, they also have to deal with the very same mentality you two are displaying right now. If it weren't for this, they would outperform us. I'm glad at least some people keep a level head in these turbulent times. You seem to be playing in a crowd. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. What created it? I do. Fire from heavy artillery. But why? Why what? Why was heavy artillery used? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Who are communards? Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Did you use their artillery fire against them? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty. Like they did with this suicide sex what? cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. Excuse me, what? We didn't, though. And we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. One second. I have to put this in, in here. What's this say again? Mad anarchist women. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Um. Yeah, I'd bomb this place too. This place is a damn beachhead, son. They didn't do it because they didn't <laughs> like it. They had to soften the commies up first. Beachhead, what's that? <laughs> yes, 
The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Indeed. This here is Blood Ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Well, that's rude. Blood Ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Uh, what's the coalition? Damn right, I mean to select that. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. Too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players of the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding oh, We shouldn't them. get involved in this conversation. Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Uh, let's see. Um, I shake my head in shame. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned through Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Frisell had risen from the grave and led us. Wait, so Sadly, is... that was not the case. Was I completely not understanding earlier? Is, is this dude a, a king? I thought he was just like he made like a disco song. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I must have misunderstood that. Instead, all is that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. So what is this? A true king in both blood and mind. Let Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Some manner of self-deceit is present in his thinking. Sounds like this Guillaume okay. abandoned him, and he doesn't want to admit it. And who's Bristol? Damn Frisell. Bristol. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the Crown. He died in the hands of the Hyperlay, in a very public execution. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller, admitting they left the king to the mob. The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> They've forgotten already. Indeed. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. Uh, I threw the ball into the sea, so... Yeah, we'll do that later. What's this? Enorm enormous balls. Oh. They probably won't accept one of those, though. I wonder if we can try that corpse again. It's been a while. Try and get that corpse down. It's eleven fifteen. Come here, you corpse. There he still is. Oh, looking still right through you with his white. Okay, maybe we need to get some more ammonia. I'm assuming the gardener won't just keep on giving us free ammonia. Hey baby, got some ammonia for me? Hello again, officer. How are things? That's not. Yeah, what is this graffiti? Excuse me? 
street sign. Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Who are these pigs? I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. Pig is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. No need to worry. We are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Well, later. So I actually have to buy ammonia at the store. That sucks. Let's radio in the stuff from his car. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in it's blue cool and white livery, bearing the number 57. It's a very interesting design. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Caprice. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Okay. Um, let's pick up the, the radio. frequency tableau lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The what soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Okay. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Come in, Delta 10. This is Firewalker. Copy. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kept me to the 41st precinct. Officer. 10 2, 10 5, uh, this is 41st, uh, come in, over. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. 10-4, Station 41, I've got urgent business, over. 10-4, message received. 10-5, relay message. What's your status, over? Just reporting in. 10-18, state your message, sir. Um, personal details like this. No, I'm gonna report my badge. But you instance. said... N never mind. 10-9, over. My badge, I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. Ten four message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? <laughs> Who are you? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Maybe he should lose his badge. Defend yourself. Oh. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Um. Yeah, I'm not the first cop to ever misplace his badge. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him, and laughs uh, sarcastically. <laughs> Thanks, operator. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vic Mar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Hmm. Mullen dicked us. I'm not Mullen. 
Come on, stop it, guys. It's serious. He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. Oh, come That's on. The light officer with Mark Conkers losing your badge is serious. Over. Okay, I'm just Sensor, reporting. I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Oh, so I have to find it. Okay. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, going laugh on? it up, guys. Super cop here lost his badge. I am a super cop. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. I bought the Vince. The nine come again, I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. That's my new name. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Crap, I don't have my gun. Sergeant Person wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your holy fuck. You don't know where it's it do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's gone. Your gun is most Damn it. definitely gone. Indeed. Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Uh, no, definitely didn't lose that. Lying over the phone. Whew. It's easy. Just say it like it's the truth, and then it becomes it. Yeah, of course, I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can't have some gangbanger running around with it. Okay, okay. We're all glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. Over. Actually, I have lost my gun. Uh, no. There's personal details. Uh, okay, 10 4, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait, before you say anything stupid, think it through. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. What? 10 4, sir, I'm not hearing your question. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. The nine repeat message? I didn't get that, sir. Over. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Uh... What? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? I just want you to say my name, sir. He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. I'm not drunk. I'm actually sober right Wrap now. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. Describe my badge. What? What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revachoian Cavalry Force. That's very helpful. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Okay. Understood, sir. Enough. Over. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. This is precinct fifty-seven. How may I assist you? Uh, yeah, I want to talk to Silver. Of course. What is the number, officer? Yes. Hold on. Her number is o o five one nine four four two nine eight. Received. Hold on, officer. Hold on. Yes. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line nice. for you. Yes, hello? Um... I believe we've met before. This is me, a detective. Oh, right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? I heard you quit your job. Why is that? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. 
Why not? Oh. Did you leave because of Gert? What? No, why would you even think that? Now don't be afraid of that pig. Stand up for yourself. Please, don't bring Gart into this. It's none of your business. God, why can't you just mind your own business? She mutters. Lol. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything again. up again. What do you mean again? Was it you who called the police? No, not me. Why not? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. Just a... Yeah, why don't you us, the police? No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. What do you mean? You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. I am the authority. Okay. Yeah, why didn't you call us? I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. I will listen to the voices in my head. What others? The other people who live around here. Local people. I... I didn't want trouble. What kind of trouble? You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with. Well... By the Union. They haven't dealt internally. with that corpse still. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. Yeah, well, it's fine. You do? Oh. What else can I do for you? Do you know who did no, call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. Okay. So the Union has a phone. And there's one further down the coast. Got it. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just... Yeah, Next go question. on. No, oh, sorry, let me cut you off, Kim. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer. The law. Oh! Hello, rejected Ronin. Uh, thank you. The law. This exact conversation has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. The badge is missing. Oh. No. I haven't. Sorry. Darn. Real police would have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? Wait. Is this not my uniform? Kim made it sound like this is my uniform because it has a little square on it. A rectangle. Yeah, Kim doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as Kim, just different color. He's in plain clothes, voluntarily. It's different from not knowing where your uniform oh. is. Uh, have you seen my gun? Please, no. Not this again. Everyone <laughs> saw your cool gun, detective. <laughs> I showed you my gun? You were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating, and... What did I do? You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You <laughs> said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. It, it got pretty graphic. Oh. What? Describe this gun. I don't understand. Oh, those again. I have been trying to wean you off them. Suicide jokes? You know, when you put your gun, your actual gun, on your temple and pretend to shoot your brains out, off of that. People don't like that. Yeah, I got that. Hmm. I remember this. You were screaming things like, My brains are all over the what? wall. Painting them red. I won't be seeing it. Because these are my brains. I can't see without my brains. I can't see without Very my nice brains. visuals there. Um... Yeah, but what happened to my gun? No idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead. What happened to my money? Things like big bucks cannot lie, and guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. 
guns can buy money, you can sell guns. It almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. Alright. So maybe I pawned it. Have you seen my policeman uniform? Uniform? I, I never saw you in any uniform. You had your things on. The disco things. The disco things? Sure. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Why are you upset? No. She doesn't have a problem with you. Oh, okay. It must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy. Like Gart. Yeah, it's definitely Gart. You know women and their constant problems. Yeah, yeah Jeez. nag nag. How's one supposed to get the love going like that? That's where you step in. Your lieutenant love. Matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out. Lest she turns into a spinster. Oh my god, not a spinster. Probably playing hardball with the goods. Um, hmm. How would our character respond? Probably this. Not a spinster, my god. You have to intervene on behalf of the ethnic nation of love, equally of sun and lightning. First, calm her down. Tell her you've got everything under control. And then go have a boy's Great. talk with God himself. Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? You still there, kiddo? Listen, I've got everything under control. No, why? Why? Why is this option here? So it's wonderful. Yeah, let's do the first. This mm, I really am tempted to click this one, but let's do this. No. What? You and Gart, right? A little trouble under the sheets? Say no more. Papa's got this. Big Papa. God, what is happening in your head? I don't know. Please, just stay out of my life. <laughs> what? What is it? What is this? You was dominated by the other party. Anything else, officer? It's nope. on. The love quest is on. Too late, Great. everyone. It's on. Take it to God now. I want to I wanna see his other radio As station. always, it's DJ Mesh and Felatio, and you're listening to Street Freaks FM, bringing you the hottest, the nastiest, oh, the geez. most vulgar. The hell you listen to, Kim? A flock of seagulls takes off nearby, startled by the roaring radio. Right away, the lieutenant reaches into the cabin and turns off the radio. He's not looking at you as he says, Someone must have been messing with the radio or mm -hmm. maybe picked up a random frequency. Yeah, you right. You wanted the prime land, right? Yeah, look him in the eye. Oh, uh, is that what it was called? <laughs> Go for it. Turn the radio back on while it's still on the Speed Freaks FM. Nah. Nothing to get into, really. But sure, uh, yeah, let's that's... focus on the important Let's not thing. tease Kim too much. This is Precinct 57. Can I connect you to someone? Uh, no, I'm done. 57, over and out. In the Jeez. cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull- No, we don't need to do anything else in the car. Oh, so geez, let's... We can level up. Okay. What the heck do I need more of? Authority? Oh, I have no idea what any of this stuff does. Endurance, though, that'll help us not throw up. Maybe we should just take some of this. There we go. Who made the call reporting crime? Replace lost ball, track down badge, track down gun. Fuck to guard. Help a brother out. Alright. Oh, who are you? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. I am the law. You sure are, my man. 
What's going on here? It's the jam, my man. The jam, capital J. Sure. The air from the east is thick with the smell of crude oils, heavy metals, and other byproducts of the modern era. You can almost taste it. Something about this jam, my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, and all around clusterfuck. Sure. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon I'm just standing days. here for days? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes. Is this a roundabout? Mazut is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Oh. Or he just likes unusual words. Dig oh, your both. style, man. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. Hmm. So tell me, what do you need? What do you know about the dead guy? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Yeah, you look real busy, man. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Sure. Never mind. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. What are you hauling? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Mm, yeah. Relax. He's merely joking. What are you actually hauling? Can't even get a few jokes past you, my man. I've got another haul of Falm cargo. Falm? Mostly sporting goods, track suits, and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad in the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Can I get one of those track suits? We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. Aww. The bosses won't be happy. Alright. The man taps his fingers. Don't be a stranger. That makes me think that we'll have to get one of those track suits later. Let's, let's go talk to Gart. Oh, and we can almost go in the kitchen, I think. And we should be able to try getting the corpse down again since we increased our endurance. So let's see, this was a woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Uh, oh, oh, I can't even access the store anymore. What's that? I don't know. Real mature man. What exactly were you trying to accomplish? You do understand you still owe me money, right? I understand that. Damn, your feet thought we got away. What was this money, anyways? What are you, brain damaged? Maybe. Money is what grown up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or. Or eight bottles of potent blend potent and nine blend. packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Is this money? Yes, it is. Sure, let's give him 40 cents. No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. But that's horrible. It is. <laughs> Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what is asked of a person and what they have. Darkness rides. It does, doesn't it? Sure, I don't know what that meant. There's a shuffle of nylon. As Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. Uh, once, yeah, sorry about that. You know what? The stupid drinks you've had are on the house. You know why? Because I know you can't pay for them. Not because you ran away. Because I ran away. Now, I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. That's a hundred square. Thank you for your Don't cooperation. Thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you up there. Oh. 
secret. Now, what the hell did you want? I assume you wanted something to come back here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I've seen something here. What thing? So a sign that the Messos were the Union? Yeah, why can't I go in the kitchen? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. I have a search. No, <laughs> There may be some pertinent to my investigation there. He wasn't pan-fried. He was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with... Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until 1pm because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. Does the cook not work after 1pm? Is this place only open for lunch? Like a really short lunch? I don't know. Uh, yeah, tell me yes, the mess not all. the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Oh. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. Yeah. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. There are these things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying they'll come after you sleep. I won't slept. be able to sleep if I don't Just get a hundred bucks. Just clear you got that. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see oh, anything okay. interesting in the whirling later. I will. God. Oh, but he should be. Lay it on him. Oh, God. Um... Of course you do. This was your plan all along. No, over. I don't want to say this. This wonderful. Let's just get over it. It is. It's wonderful. What? What does that mean? Cock no, don't carousel. say it. What? God, does it mean you talk to her? What else did she say about me? Oh God, what are we what doing? What else do you need? Uh, yeah, the man a... leans his hands I regret, on the counter. I regret and going on this line his of head dialogue. Drops between the shoulders, heavy and defeated. She broke the bird, you know. The She's the one that skewer. did it? I found it on the ground with a broken wing on the morning she left. I should have known. It was her way of telling me to piss off. I should stuff it up my ass. You should. Or you broke the bird. It can also be that. I think Sylvie even. Yeah, probably I broke it. Yes. The bird is connected to this. It's a symbol of hope. And she broke it. Oh. Maybe I broke. No, it was her. She's off to ride that carousel you told me about. <laughs> okay, ride that's enough of that. No, stop it. Until the clock runs out. Here, have the rest. Oh, okay, nice. We did need to get a drink. Now, let me have a drink and think about this shit for a moment. On my own. And there we have it. Isn't beautiful. that beautiful? Another situation fixed by... Doctor Love. Wow. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Does that really count as uh okay, complete. Pay for damages. Uh, who's in the union box? By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. No and idea. This, but you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Far away. In time or space. Both. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Hobo cop. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. I think it must. Okay, we're almost done thinking about... This dude. 
and we'll think about being a hobo cop. A cop and a hobo. A hobo cop. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. Okay. Yeah, we'll internalize that after we're done with that. Nice. Uh, so I can't go in there quite yet. It's up 20 minutes before the kitchen opens. Summer door. Uh, is there anything new upstairs? Oh no, let's go back out to that corpse. Don't be afraid to say weird things. People are more forgiving to persons of power, like police officers. Sure. I will take full advantage of my police officer status. To be the weirdest hobo cop. Hate these kids. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes the body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell emitting it let's is try again it does now ha 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 again the corpse laughs at you pus dripping from its mouth you will never be able to hold yeah. it in it's always too much Every time it happens, it gets worse and worse. There's nothing more to throw up now. All that's left is that's crying good. and convulsing dryly at the same time. Just cry. Little black bubbles pop on the corpse's uh. lips. Decay liquid, like tar. It's like he's gurgling. What do I do now? Officer, you just need to be stronger. Learn to keep it in long enough for us to work. There's nothing else to do. You can open this white check again by going to your character sheet yeah, and spending already a did. skill point to upgrade your endurance. Gain new Maybe it's okay if you don't make it today. The dead man isn't going anywhere. And Yeah, are we really going to leave there for another day in a row, though? That's already been there for a whole week. It's just going to be like even more disgusting the longer we leave it. Yeah, what is, what is this? I still don't... I just don't know what this ability or whatever does. Um, ooh, are these like, uh, most able bodied men? Jump jams! Welcome to Ivashol. It's not that rotund. Um, why are you dressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist oh. culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. What's happening? It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. I honestly didn't even... Like... This could have been said completely innocently. Oh, I hit, okay. The guy is named Racist Lorry Driver, so... I guess maybe if that's like written on his name tag, then we can just assume that's what he meant. But honestly, this doesn't, this doesn't sound, like, weird. Especially if I've been here three days, he probably saw me another day. Like, he's, he hasn't seen this guy before, so he's assuming he's new and just welcoming him. Seems weird to just assume that what he's racist. What he means is, fixation on the Revisholian nation makes it harder for Revisholian to actually attain self-determination. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. Like, I know the game is telling me, yeah, this guy is racist, but 
I don't know. It just seems weird. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and behave. If, if he wasn't called racist lorry driver, I would not understand why he's reading that into it. But, but you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes yeah, tense. Just get along, guys. Your partner needs backup. Yeah, let's back him up. Moment to shine. Um. I don't know. Yeah, freaking A, Kim. I've got your back. You do make a cute couple. You know that. Okay, now I don't like you anymore, Lorry Driver. Now you see. Lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Yeah, I believe you, Kim. He's, he's a racist. Whatever you say, officers. He smells of heavy motor oils. And Pick his guy down a pair of pack. high tar content cigarettes. Probably Astra Whites. Astra Whites? What are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Um, well, what are you picking up? Apples. Apples? Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Sounds like a cover story to me. Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. Ancient? There's nothing about lorry men that could possibly be ancient. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular Koiko picked apples. Koiko. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think? Huh. Yep, it's one of their oh, okay. main exports. They grow them down South Yeko Katara. A beautiful place. Got great scenic vistas. In fact, Yeko Kata is a desolate wasteland what? whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological okay. Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. You're lying, Morgan. Yeah? Says who? It's me. Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koikos. They're everywhere, except their own homes. He means the okay. people living this in the This guy sucks. Dogs. Yeah, you know, Gradniks, Gradvolk, those degenerates from Grad. Okay. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? Show me the apples. Uh, did you miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? Relax. Hmm. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So he'd remain unaccountable. It's talking about your ancient rights as a lorryman. Oh, yeah, they're a big deal. My great grandfather was a carter. Had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. What's a cart? Someone with a cart. What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches. Before machines. So he was a garbage man. Not at all. We are but part you of are. a guild and everything, huh? It's very ancient. Very prestigious. Like a union? Hell no. It's a guild. Invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profits, but you can't replace experience. What sort of weird universe is this? Unions work for the rich. <laughs> Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice and. Yeah, I'm done talking to you, dude. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this is where I can get more ammonia. Okay, let's not go... Huh. Three T's. Oh, there are three T's. Let's 
get some ammonia if we can afford it. We probably can't. Okay, this is pretty. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. What is hmm? this? Oh, that's the tear machine. What is it? It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine, then it gives you money. Oh. You need I a do need bag, money. I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so... So I find a bag. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there. Somewhere. Somewhere. Guillaume Le Million. Oh. What am I looking at? Bad news. Guillaume Le Million did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour to the Sin Yao province in Safre, where he died of autoerotic asphyxiation. His body was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree in his junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single, Wonderland, skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Revachol in the 30s. And also Ooh. as a warning. Ooh. Plus one pain threshold. Okay, let's be hobo cop. Internalizing. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big fruit cost slogan you? on the back. The packages are small, oh, way too discreet, much. sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. What's no that? need to worry about knocking over a display. What's a raincoat? What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. What's a paladin? If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royale. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. Yeah, I don't want to steal one. I'm a cop. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine are you reading? You mean this? Oh. This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. What is this it's hat? Not for sale. Looks like it also like a has cardboard something jester called hat. Police de la Mode, featured on page thirty-four. This speaks to you. Fashion police. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the okay. most stylish. Who's the numero uno guy in there right now? And does it look like this? Sure. Um. No, I don't think so. Darn it. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. That's some questions. For um, you. okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Do you sell ammonia? She looks up from her magazine, eyes filled with tired ennui. Yes, what we have is there, in the medicine cabinet. Go take a look yourself. Alright. Uh, where? Here? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, bloodless. untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but um, we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Yeah, but I just need some um. What the hell? Ammonia. Where do I get the ammonia? Up here? A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol oh. bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. The bottles wink at you in the light. The hey. smokes, too, glitter in their wrapping. It's like looking into a kind of heaven. No, it's Your not knees are weak. There, 
in that dark green glass, all in oh. vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. This isn't a good place. Um, guess not, no. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so where, 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 where do I find You the see ammonia? several packaged rank. I don't need a raincoat. I need ammonia. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste pharmaceutics. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Dramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is. I don't really know what hypnogamma oh. is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. Hydrate. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Thank you. Uh huh. You said that I could find the ammonia in there, though. You filthy liar. Can I just not buy ammonia? Um, is this about the questions? I'm well, fine. Let's find a bag and get some money. Well, one health, but points into endurance. this it's money delicious money oh okay I can just walk over here so there's a large person there looking for a bag A Stars Riker, one of the finest Zimsk made motor coaches ever. An oldie, but a goalie. Who drives this? Not many people outside of Grad and Revachol West, too, it appears. Hey, Kim, check this out. A Stars Riker KK2. That's a classic model. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. What an awesome. An old case for my precinct. A couple of Zimsk migrants saw a Stars Riker stopped in the street. Painted just like this, muddy brown. Murdered the driver on the spot. Why? They said it was an honor killing, Hussar style. The Jim's community protested the trial, flying the banners of some old king or whatever. 5,000 came to protest. Jeez. Correction, 4,395. The fourth largest public protest of a criminal trial in Rivershaw. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, um, actually. Is that so, officer? I'll take you at your word. Could a ranked man have been the driver of this? I thing? tried to avoid drawing far gone conclusions like this before actually examining the body. But my initial guess is the two are unrelated. Okay. Not actually that interesting. Oh? Okay, okay, we're making some money. Okay, I don't know that we want to wear that. Plus one fizzle instrument, plus minus one suggestion. Okay, we'll just hold on to that. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachol. The squanderer? Son of Philip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. 
Why would you build a huge uh, statue to someone whose title is The Squanderer? As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chest piece. What did this king do? Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Well, he blew through the whole national treasury, Jeez. starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachol. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian wow. Isola. How did he blow through the Stories entire... Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate okay. weaponry, armor, and various chalices. So if he had all, like... Having a whole bunch of super valuable stuff like gold and, and Krugerrands... That doesn't sound like it sounds like you still have all that money. Like you just sell that stuff. I don't know. He called it the Sol Auron. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed like a normal person. There's no way that's true. But wait. You haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. The what now? You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. A bloated druggie? That's what the revolutionary said 150 years later. Right before they emptied out the royal mausoleum and dumped his majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. What happened to the statue? The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution when Martinez was leveled. Most historians okay. think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up to even finer pieces. It was rebuilding it. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershaw in the poorest part of the city. The statue okay. is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time. A rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on the sea of shit. Interesting. Neither do people in Martinez. The statue has proved to be controversial. In a neighborhood mostly populated by the left-leaning working class. Those critics might have it wrong though. There's more to it than just ironism. But you can't say what precisely. Perhaps this art mystery will be solved at a later time. Interesting. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Not that he ever did in life either. Yeah, what it is Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass around where the heart is. A bullet? Someone shot him in the heart. Interesting. Shot the statue? Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or a political statement? It's probably a political Why not? statement. Maybe. What this shows us is guns aren't too uncommon here, and people still shoot them, sometimes at kings. Okay. The king stands high above you, surveying the bay, mute and indifferent to your sighting. Um, nope. Okay. I'll go look at this. 
human eyes. Okay, no bags. A sadness. Oh, what's this? Is this bench up here going to be my bed for the night? Leading onto the roof. Okay, let me get back out here. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's where our gun is going to be. If we did pawn our gun, what did we, um... What did we do with all that money? Because we don't have the money either. person there. No, oh, that's Kim, of course. Bustable woman. I wonder if he has a copy of, like, uh, that tape that we need. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Let's look for a cool one. Why? What's this? A headless man riding a horse. A headless man wearing futuristic tracksuit trousers that say Faun. What is this? Oh, that's the headless Faun rider. Who? The headless Faun rider. It's an urban legend. About a man who rides the streets of Revachol sporting a Faun tracksuit. Is this what I need the tracksuit As for? As you see, he's missing his head. 50 cents. Bargain price. That I'll throw in the price. tiny cap too. I think he's looking for it, or something. That part of the story has many interpretations. He lost his cap when he lost his head. Perhaps he's looking for the head. Look at all this set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. A few have rifles, but most of them carry pistols. Some even shovels and talk. You're probably talking about the revolutionaries, yes? Yes, they are soldiers. Revolutionary soldiers. I think their poverty has been exaggerated for effect. When you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. Hmm. Maybe. Interesting. So it's step away. Let's look at all the boom things. boxes on the shelf look well loved and well traveled. Chipped, dented, they stare at you with the unblinking eyes of their tape reels. One especially catches your eye. Deep gold and amber plastic with a big old handle on top. A classic boom box that says Boombox. Stereo 8 approved. Just make sure it works before you buy it. What I really want to know is, could this device come handy in my police work? If police work means playing tapes, sure. You can use it for that. Or any other time you'd need to play a tape. Is in working order. Absolutely. I've tested each one myself with recordings of speech. Found sounds and music from a variety of genres. Even though I don't really like music. Really? That's what kind odd. of a weirdo are you? Why doesn't he like music? What do you like? Then? The stuff I record myself. Silverware shaking in drawers as motor cars race by. Nocturnal animals climbing on the roof. Airship rotors. That kind of thing. 
You're a weirdo, man. Mm. Maybe you should ditch music as well. Get into these more experimental sounds he's describing. Is the Harman Welsh W2. 12 bucks, okay. Made in Vespa. Designed in Seoul. Plays all reel-to-reel -reel format. 2mm, 8mm, 12mm. It's even got a little radio in there. It'll set you back 12 real. Yeah, that's all. What about this? Well, a very large red t-shirt with an impressive print stands out from the other car. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. The print depicts a muscled man striding toward you. A giant sword in each hand, encircled by burning embers. Behind him is a cluster of cabins engulfed in flames. Beneath him are the words, Hyeondal burning. Smell it. Smells like worn cotton and a little old sweat there. Worn cotton with a side of flea market or trash bin. Okay. Sniffing is okay, but please don't try anything on. Can't have you leaving your photon emissions in the fabric photon of emissions. things you're not going to buy. That's a rad shirt. Hell yeah, man. I don't usually carry printed tees, but this one was just pure exemplar. Yeah, big fan man from... I wouldn't go the, so far too. as to say that I'm a fan, but I do think that Yom Dalaman saga is an integral part of our shared reality. Most people don't think that the man from Yelmdale really existed, but they're Real? wrong. What do you mean? I mean, even if the man from Yelmdale didn't exist before the adventure novels, oh, the stories okay. have made it so that he has. It's simple, really. Quite obvious. Okay. You sound skeptical. It's not that complicated. All that's required is a more robust understanding of cause and effect. Birds, that's Roy. Besides, I've been to Kotla, though not quite as far north as the Hjelmdal, and watched northern lights travel across the sky. Very unique energetic tides there. It's for the best, because Hjelmdal is not a real place, and thus he could not have gone there. His theory isn't exactly incoherent but its logic does suggest some unusual neural unusual. activity oh, real. i can afford this shirt that's dirt cheap didn't you just give it to me for free then but why perhaps i repel it pay for some By other dealing way? goods not services hmm. okay maybe we'll buy it some other time it's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, it is shameful how insufficient our presence here is. I haven't had any problems myself, though some of my customers have complained about inconsistent law enforcement. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake. keepsake. People who are terminally bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. Um... Yeah, quite the collection. It keeps me entertained. It is he high. Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on Parolidon. It's oh. tough to come by on the street. What is that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn okay, yellow. So there's all yellow eyes there. Yeah, that check Why out, on sir. earth? These are prescription. I can't really see without them. Uh, 
pretty obvious you're under the influence. Dawn is just something I, you know, since the People's Pile disaster. People's Pile. <laughs> I was with the emergency relief brigade. Had to take it for radiation sickness. Okay. He's taken for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. It was the people's pile. A bad idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. It malfunctioned. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you, too. The People's Pile was a Type U particle decay generator that okay. fell immediately after entering service, releasing radioactive waste into River Esperance. What An emergency valve defect resulted in steam pressure blowing the turbine, taking the fuel containment vessel up in the explosion. Both the faulty design and lack of finances contributed to the catastrophe. No, thank you. I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, sure. you gotta get in on those vortices, my man. Um, yeah, do you have any guns? Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. Damn I it. promptly sold her the gun you pawned a oh, couple wait. days back. What? Wow, critical. Despair creeps into you, getting what? fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eaten them all up now. I know. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? What? I don't dispute that you have been charged with protecting the people oh. of a particularly challenging district. But poverty does not make one a loser. Poverty is just poverty. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Uh... Cop gives no. up the detective genre for social realism. Another... Oh, low game. Uh, bu, 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 bu. How long ago was that? So, okay, I guess that was like a timer and I need to somehow heal my morale? I don't know how to do that. Charges. Oh, do I just like click that maybe? I don't know. Oh, let's look at this stuff again. Man, I'm so pissed off now. I guess we didn't really lose out much except them um, talking to the pawn guy. Maybe instead of going into the pawn shop, we will um, go into the kitchen and investigate the kitchen since it's past 1 p.m. now. Man, I'm so sad though. How are we doing with this, 9%? Remaining three hours. So before the night, we should have a better understanding of how to be a hobo cop. Look at these. Drying dishes? How dare they. My money. That's my investigation A thin fee. man is smoking below an exhaust hood. Occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, I he want nods to toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. Kubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, 
please don't call him Garanci Quebec. Please, it's not funny. I hate this. The game knows that I, I can't help myself now that it said that. <laughs> Mr. Quebec? The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. Stay masculine? You've got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. Yeah, I don't need anything else. Stay masculine, my dude. Whatever that means. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. I wonder where it leads. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? It might be pertinent to the our witch. investigation. Outside, in the backyard. Remember? No? Your fingers do. Okay. Yeah, there's a winch. Mm. Well, if there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. Heck yeah. It's hardly a side investigation. You already have a name for it. Burial investigation. If you say so, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Right, the door does not budge. Touch it. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever is behind it must be older. Okay. We have our first clue. Maybe. Can I help you? Another thing. Great. I love those. Tell me about this door. Oh, yes. That door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. What's behind it, then? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care, either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just the frick warehouse, probably. Really? Why would it be connected here? Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. Yeah, I think you'd like to know what's back Fine, there. okay. A little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Yes? I'm gonna sing karaoke. Absolutely out of the question. What? Absolutely in the question. First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. Your body gotcha. is ready, sire. My body is ready? Yes. I just need to find that sad banger. So let's save, and then we'll talk to the pawn guy again. Uh, and may uh, maybe I'll try and see if there's anything I can do to not die. To not immediately have my morale explode. Um, maybe I just need to click here. Maybe that'll... It says charge is one. Maybe that uses up a charge and will heal me. I just didn't understand what to do previously. Fast cash for faster times. I am going to, I guess, like, speedrun look at everything in the room again, though. <gasps> yeah. Okay, okay. 
You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the ring. Why? What's the... Oh, that's the head. The head lost 50 cents. He lost his cap when he... Big man. Mm -hmm. I used to be... They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps, complemented by orange okay, trousers. So care of them. This is what the loyalists looked like, yes, at first. Then they wised up and got camouflage. Which one? Ah, royalist soldiers from the time of the revolution. The un... This set of soldiers... You're probably... I think their poverty has been exaggerated. Maybe. Typical Martinez streetlight sits among oh. assorted floor and table lamps. Where'd you get this? It was brought to me to be altered. altered we are not here so. to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. I'm sure street. 700 real. A bargain, I dare say. Really? There's also the matter of rewiring, but the most important transformation is the light's placement among ordinary indoor fixtures, which has adjusted its morphological field. The light became suitable for use inside the home just a few days ago. The light pole has been carefully cut, and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly, but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. Okay, uh, I don't know if we'll ever be able to afford that. Well, a very large red t-shirt with an impressive print well, stands out this. from the other guy. Oh yeah, the print depicts up smells like worn cotton. Sniffing is a hell yeah, man. I, I wouldn't. Most people don't think that, I mean, okay, you sound bizarre. It's for the, his theory isn't exactly Inca. Too, that's dirt cheap. But, why? I sympathize, I do. But this is a full profit. Okay, we've looked at everything in the room again. Oh, we didn't look up here. The boombox is on the sh one. It just makes sure it works. Is the Harmon well she up? If police work me, absolutely. That's odd. Why doesn't the stuff? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, we save now. Save game. Um, yeah, new save, save. Now demoralize me, my dude. It's not often that I... What can I do for you? I haven't had... Who are your... All kinds. As you can see, um, I have a wide selection of... It keeps me entertained. Oh yeah, very high. Feeling warm and a drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side. I try to keep the shop at a comfortable temperature. For all Adonis, I was with. He's taken okay. from mental and emotional, not physical. The people's pile was a type U particle decay generator. An emergency valve defect resulted in steam pressure blowing the turbine. I like. Yeah. You gotta get okay. in on those vortices. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Okay, we did it. Oh, we got God. past that point. <gasps> okay. So I don't have another charge, so I can't let that happen again. The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another, alert. I sold you my... You... Uh... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol citizens' militia. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. Great. She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig. Which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit... Obsessive. But I was just happy to get rid of it. And of her. Yeah. Truth be told, she was terrifying. Right, so, let me get this right. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizens' militia. And now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? 
It may she's a vigilante. It's possible in these parts of town. We ought to find her and discourage her from taking justice into her own hands. Any idea where I can find her? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. Oh, darn it. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You'll just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. Great. Of course. Well, that sucks. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any questions you may have. The pawnbroker's yeah, gaze. Great, 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 great. Long morale put points into volition. Maybe that's what I need to put points into next. We do seem to have low morale. Oh, what is this? Fingerless gloves. Okay. That's one interfacing electrochemistry. Yeah, fingerless gloves. I think it'll be good for our hobo look. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samarin butter sign in the way. Butter. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. That's it. I don't want to damage it. Barry, can you hear me, buddy? Good day to you, officers. A burly man <laughs> hangs out by the water lock, carving up a generous serving of salami, Ooh, salami. with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock. Yeah, what happened to this wreckage? An enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershall. Indeed. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here, especially a waterlock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. I want some of that salami. Sure thing. It is salty. Oh, it baby. is savory. It is chewy. The hangover only makes the salami more tasty. Delicious. Want some too, officer? Why not? Awesome. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro, a church. bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. Okay. I mean, I need to fix that somehow. So that car, did it... It drove here, it drove onto the roof? And I guess hit a sign and... Like, used as a ramp to get over or something? I don't know. I don't know how any of that makes sense. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Well, Let's I'm, go. I'm just scouting out a new bed. Bench if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good little mailbox. and clicks of swallows. To roundabout north. Broken window? Tibbs has windows. This coin operated viewer is facing well, southwest. Oh, maybe I can get Tibbs to it's replace the window that I broke in my room. Bubble gum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. 
Poor little viewer. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side with N and C scribbled backwards. Now. That's the Kuna bastard. on the lens. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonesis, or the Cairo, the central symbol of the Perikonesian church, a star, a great moral height to be strived to all. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach and a small tent set up on the ice. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Oh, I need a bag! This coin-operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims and pull the handle while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in if why place I don't waste tourist money. attraction in the middle of such poverty. Um, a bag. Yeah, that's mine now. Tools, bag. I hold bag. Give me that trash. What's this? Better watch your mouth around me, boy. Oh, we're getting lots of money just walking around and picking it up off the floor. So what's your, your story, dude? Okay, nothing. Does this bag have like a capacity? Huh. Uh, is it a, a can I can pick up? Is this a bird? A lonely cormorant. Cormorant. Was it lonely? That makes me sad. Pick that up. This time I'm gonna pay for all that damage to my room. This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Why am I looking at it? You have no clue. It's just a wall. So Fair many enough. walls all over Martinez. Weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. Darn it. What? Track down your gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Are you trying to sneak up on me? I am. Come to sleep. Wait, you're a lady? In my sleep. Apparently, she doesn't like people standing behind her back. Well, too bad. Magic error. She is not sleeping right now. Pigs come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, pig. You think you're so clever. I am clever, actually. Keep reading that we did pick, like, the smart guys to be. Um, I've just been picking all the options to make him just the biggest idiot. Because it's fun. There must be another way into the building. Oh, okay. It's a smoker. There's a smoker up there? Oh, there is a smoker. Hey, what's that noise down there? You see a young man on a balcony.
balcony, nursing a cigarette. Okay. His eyes have been following you for a while. Not looking for any trouble, officer. Okay. It's the voice of someone who has something to hide, my liege. My liege. Um... Yeah, I just want to know what's going on here. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. No, I'm asking Don't questions. let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Yeah. Is it really that important? Yes. Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. I can tell me about the hang. I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? I do not. We will remove the body as soon as possible. It's going to be a while. Us. Where were you last Sunday? Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? No, I didn't. Wait. Is someone else investigating the lynching? Pretty sure I didn't. No, not you. Some more muscular type. Interesting. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Yeah, not very muscular. Last week? I don't know. Look. A downy blanket of white to cover up the miserable poverty of the scene. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> I had a friend over. Oh, a kind of friend. It was my Sunday friend. What? A Sunday friend. <laughs> How intriguing. How intriguing. <laughs> he doesn't reply gesturing no with his cigarette what's your name Under my name my name is martin martinez of course i'm sure it is that's definitely not his real name that's not your name is it no of course not could you please lower your voice sure. no <sighs> we won't yeah we will now if you'll excuse me i really need to get going We gotta try. Time to bring out your secret charm. <sighs> Tears and beg him. Show him your emotional side. Throw yourself before his very feet like a dog. What do you want from me? Do you want me to cry? No, for God's sake, I don't want you to cry. Listen, I really have to go. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Good luck with the investigation. Damn it. Don't go. Continue. He's gone. We should run after him. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. So we just give up? He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. There Agreed. has to be a way of getting inside the building. Once we found the way in, we can ask around for his apartment. Alrighty. Well, what is this? Is this trash? Give to no, don't talk to frickin' Kim. Give me trash. A stone, oh, like a stone. any other, lying in a whirl of sleet and mud. Maybe there's something under it. A key? There's a key beneath it, rusty from the dirt. Well, that was easy. This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has hundreds of apartments. Oh, we'll man. just have to go in and see. So let's look at all this back here. Bullet holes. Orange bum hat. Oh, I'm not wearing a hat yet. Oh, yeah, I'm looking more like Hobo Cop by the day. You know what? Actually, Hobo Cop would wear this, wouldn't it? Hmm, heck yeah. Hobo Cop. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, we can't get up there. That's one going to save, I think, and call it a day. But I'm really enjoying this and definitely want to play more of it. Uh, so I might play more of this on Thursday as well, since I don't really have a Thursday game to play right now. Uh, but yeah, later. It's been cool. Thanks for chilling. Bye.